I welcome all of you on platform of Europedia Education and as you know on Europedia uh, we are providing you details, we are providing you details of uh, various you know interviews like whenever some interview comes we provide you the detailed guidelines for that public particular public sector and uh, we provide you uh, the information related to that which actually is a part of HR. So I think uh, HAL is the recent, HPCL I provided you uh, yesterday, HAL is the recent result which is declared and uh, I am very sure now you need HAL document, uh, information about HAL from where they can ask you question and uh, this is the video I am making and the attached document you can download, the document which is related to HAL that document also you can take and uh, we can uh, proceed in uh, we can prepare in that particular direction and i think some questions will be related to that in the interview so uh, let's proceed forward and this is the reference because you know hl is one of the uh, you know it is under the department which is under ministry of finance uh, so uh, we have also i have also referred to some of the websites obviously hl website and then i have referred even ministry of defense website and some another information uh, i have collected from different uh, sources. So let me uh, tell you what is the most important part. HL hai kya? Hindustan Aeronautics Limited hai kya? So this is an aerospace company and uh, you know presently it is Indian state, government of India's uh, basically owned company and they are the la oldest and largest aerospace and defense manufacturer in the world. So that is how it is uh, identified. It is written on the website oldest and largest one of the largest not the largest one of the oldest and largest because during british era uh, hl earlier name was different we will discuss during british era this all started where is the headquarter who was the founder of hl when was it founded and presently what is the situation what is the revenue how much billion dollar is the turnover or something and what is the asset and what are the various subsidiaries of hl so that information is important for us. Now some of the very important points and you need not to write it, you will get it the document attached with this very video, you can take that. Uh, you know it was established as Hindustan Aircraft Limited, HL only Hindustan Aircraft Limited in 1940 and Hirachand was the person who founded it and uh, you know he became the first chairman also of the company and uh, uh, it is indian owned now defense company headquarters is in bangalore so it was established in 1940 and uh, first aircraft was harlow pc5 that was the first aircraft uh, harlow pc5 the first aircraft built was this and this was the basically very very uh, fine machine at that particular time and we are talking about the time when the world war 2 was going on you know world war 2 was 1939 to 1945 and that time you know pearl harbor took place in 1940 uh, when japanese attacked i think america and then world war 2 was going on and during world war america was not in world war 2 japanese attacked pearl harbor and lot of you must have seen the movies also lot of japanese uh, aircrafts fly so similar kind of aircrafts used to be there at that time any world war 2 movie if you see you will find these kind of aircrafts at that time anyhow uh, one of the oldest and largest aerospace and defense manufacturer in the world and these are the products of hl right and harlow pc5 is the main product of hl and uh, it has r d centers also all over india uh, it has different r d centers so those of you who are who have done their mtech or doing doing mtech they have very good answer to give because the present chairman is also mtech he is also btech and then he has done his mtech so mtech in research and development establishment is something which is very good so uh, you can uh, quote that also right so it is currently what is HAL doing currently designing and manufacturing of aeroplanes jets helicopters engines you know gas turbines avionics software development spare supplies and upgrading and overhauling so maintenance and upgradation is also part of that so uh, HAL HF24 Maruth fighter bomber was the first indigenous fighter aircraft HAL ne jo banaya tha and uh, after two companies were merged hindustan aircraft limited and aeronautics india limited ye do companies ko merge karke 1964 mein hl bana so hl kab bana that was in 1964 and which were the two companies merged together that you should know you know and uh, the main uh, principal uh, activity is design development manufacture repair ye yaad kar lena main activity abhi hai kya and this is done for both 
indigenous means uh, uh, our own that is national and international also they are doing so mig 21 russian aircraft you know mig 21 uh, is uh, something which is uh, the main uh, uh, aircraft indian air force was having a couple of years back and now it's uh, overall it's uh, overhauling and it's a repair and everything all these activities were done in hl only okay so hl operation saw the rapid increase in 1980s and uh, then Tejas and Dhruv, they are the two uh, our indigenous production. Tejas and Dhruv. Dhruv is helicopter, uh, I think light uh, 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 helicopter. Uh, this is and Tejas is the fighter jet, uh, the combat aircraft, I suppose. So this Tejas and Dhruv are the two main products. You should know that. And not only that, it is catering to the business. So 40% of the business of HL is coming from, and I tell you, HL is profit making company so 40 percent of the business comes from the contract it takes from international players airbus boeing honeywell in se jo contract hume milta hai. Uh, you know this make in india policy uh, this government started make in india policy so we wanted to produce as much possible uh, as uh, as much possible uh, as much production as possible in india itself so defense export we wanted to produce and we kept a target of five billion dollars by 2025 so we set up our own bases in Indonesia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Vietnam. So we wanted to capture this market and this is very important. Annual turnover is about $2 billion and 40% of revenue is coming from international deals. That is so we are earning from that also. What are the main products of HL? So just to go through these, uh, advanced light helicopter that is Dhruv, Tejas is fighter aircraft. So Rudra Kaveri is the engine with the DRDO. So HL is also working with the other research organization like DRDO, ISRO and some other uh, you know uh, organizations also like Bharat Electronics, Indian Ordnance Factory. So ISRO is also working with these organizations and coming out with uh, different products like Rusam is unmanned air vehicle, uh, you know this Saras is light transport aircraft. So all these are the products of HL. Where are the R&D centers? So 17 R&D centers in different part of India. You are not to memorize this all, but yes, if you belong to Hyderabad, if you belong to Kanpur, if you are from Nasik, if you are from Koraput, Odisha, so you should know where is the R&D center of HL. Some name should be relate, uh, known. I mean, if you are related to particular domain, you should know where that uh, center is located, like strategic electronics R&D center. If you are electronics background, where is this located? You should know that. Now, what is the present situation of HL? It is manufacturing, it is having manufacturing program. Uh, what man it is manufacturing is Sukhoi 30 and then light combat aircraft, Cheetah, Chetak, Dhruv. So all these are the basically production activities of manufacturing activities of HL. Repair overhaul is also there. So it is doing repair work also. And uh, export, uh, what, what it is exporting to different countries. So that part is Chetak, Cheetah, Helicopter, Dhruv. It is exporting to different countries also. So ongoing indigenous development programs are light combat aircraft, uh, light combat helicopter, light utility helicopter. So all these things are the ongoing indigenous development program. So, so presently what is going on? This is very important slide because they may ask you presently kya HL ke andar kya kya activity hota hai? What are the domains? In which domains activity? R&D, manufacturing to R&D, everything is being done. If you talk about DRDO is not into manufacturing or ISRO is not into manufacturing, they are purely R&D organizations. But HL if you see manufacturing also, R&D centers are also there. So you need to know what are the various activities we are doing in that. Yes, so he is the CMD of HL, uh, R. Madhavan, he is a graduate in mechanical engineering from NIT Raipur and uh, he is M.Tech from IIT Madras. So if, suppose you are doing M.Tech in IIT Madras or you are done uh, doing IIT uh, M.Tech in some another institute, you can always say sir that uh, post graduation is always helpful in institute like HL because it is not only into manufacturing or production or maintenance, it is also into R&D activities. So from that aspect it is very very valuable, this is how you can tell. Now, what are the customers of HL? What are the domestic customers? Indian Air Force, Indian Army, Indian Coast Guard, you know. So, Indian Coast Guard, recently there was a news in media which we will discuss. Indian Coast Guard, they were given some kind of, you know, devices made by uh, HL. DRDO, so Indian Ordnance Factory, they are the customers uh, and all these side also, you know, Border Security Force, so Geological Survey of India, all these are 
and international customer also uh, HL is having international customer and that is the reason a uh, lot of resource comes from international customers like Honeywell you know Honeywell is very famous company so this all is international customer uh, media information media news are very important so smart anti-air field weapon from Hawk I aircraft so that was successfully launched so uh, information related to Medani, information related to DRDO, CSIR, uh, HAL and Medani has sent, uh, signed one MOU for making some kind of composite raw material. So material science people and composite raw material something which is very extensively used in airline industry. So uh, as HAL comes under Ministry of Defence who is uh, our uh, Defence Minister and Minister of State for Defence that should be known and uh, he's also said that LCA light combat aircraft is the backbone of air Indian Air Force fighter fleet and uh, you know this is a part of uh, this this can be a new basically Atma Nirbhar Bharat ki direction mein, this can be something Atma Nirbhar Bharat as you know is a self-reliant mission of the government so uh, LCA uh, jo light combat aircraft hai, Tejas I suppose so that is something which is pride of LCA is the pride of India so if in the interview I ask you which uh, which product of HAL is called Pride of India? So answer is LCA, Light Combat Aircraft. You know this uh, Raksha Mantri is uh, displaying this uh, particular product, and this is the main product of HAL. Otherwise, also all, out of many products, if we ask you, what is the main product of HAL? Every organization has, like ISRO has Inset and remote sensing satellites and all. Uh, similarly, uh, DRDU has Prithvi, Agni missiles, Brahmos. Uh, so, what is the main product of uh, uh, HAL that you should know? Okay, now HAL Management Academy in Bangalore is offering postgraduate diploma in management. So, I am not telling you to join it or something, but yes, the last date still is there if you want to feel like joining it. So, where is this management academy in uh, this is in Bangalore? So, that was also in news a couple of uh, uh, weeks back. So it was in news what what program is aviation management and production management ke upar ek PG rem hai 15 month ka full and this is the eligibility what is the required that is the eligibility for you. So this is you know, very good program if you can think of uh, pursuing this if you want to go in that, that direction because defense management is going to be a big industry in future. Other news uh, in media were related to this only indigenous coast guard program jo advanced light helicopter diya hai coast guard ko that was in the news you know coast guard uh, activities are very very important you remember the uh, you know attack which uh, pakistani terrorist did on um, uh, bombay so that was coast guard ke pass surveillance should be very good and this helicopter dhruv or something that will be very very helpful for them so uh, revenue 22000 crore is the you know uh, i think this is the profit uh, if i'm not wrong uh, revenue in excess so that is a profit so what is the profit during covid you know that is the during covid also pandemic also hl could generate this much of profit okay so uh, hl got the prize as a innovative training practice for innovative training practice it got the award and uh, that is also that was also in the news and also uh, recently they got very big defense contract for 83 LCA. So uh, as I told you the, uh, the domestic customer of uh, HEL is Indian uh, armed forces also. So they got this contract and they, they, this is the main source of income for them now. Now uh, this HEL comes under department of defense production. Under ministry of uh, defense there is a department of defense production. And under that these nine central PSUs come. So under this department of Ministry of Defense, these are the nine PSUs which come in those nine PSUs. This Hindustan Aeronautic Limited is also one of them. And Bharat Dynamic Limited is also one of the PSUs. So BDL ka abhi exam aara hai, as you know. So uh, similarly, Goya Shipyard, Goa Shipyard and Mazgon Dock, these all come under Department of Defense Production. So uh, details about HAL from that uh, site of defense you should go through this also what are the you know HL Hindustan Aeronautical Limited is Navaratna company so what is Navaratna company yesterday in HPCL document I have discussed that in detail what kind of revenue it should generate and all so go through that also in detail so uh, what are the main products R&D uh, uh, domain what they produce just go through that also 
and uh, 75 years of existence uh, they are celebrating in 2015 they celebrated so the data which was given i think on that particular site was very old on the defense site if you see but there are certain points which you can gather from it you can uh, remember those uh, revise those information which are given in that so i think this uh, this is more or less uh, sufficient for you to prepare for interview uh, if you got the call for interview prepare well and your pd as you know provides you the detail in uh, guidance for such kind of uh, you know, domains so prepare well with us and take this document and this uh, some question can be asked from here directly so all the best for your interview thank you